Hi, this video is on traditional grip. Now, for me in my own personal playing, probably more than 90% of the time I'm using matched grip because I like the symmetry that it affords to me when I'm playing on a drum set. But when I first started studying the drums with Rob Lytham, who's an author, modern drummer, columnist, and uh, all around great guy, he told me this is how you hold the drumsticks. And he kind of detailed how to create a fulcrum about a third of the way up the drumstick by pinching the thumb and pointer finger around the stick, wrapping these three fingers underneath it, turning your hands so that you can use your wrist in an up and down motion like this, use your fingers to manipulate the drumstick, and use your arm all together to kind of create the most ergonomical stroke possible. Then in the left hand, this is where traditional grip comes into play. Your left hand's going to be a little bit different. Instead of this up and down wrist motion, it's more of like a twisting motion. And I've had uh, marching gurus tell me to practice just turning a doorknob because that's the motion that your wrist is going through, not the same up and down wrist motion that your right hand uses. So to kind of detail the stroke itself, um, when I first learned this, it basically went something like this. Uh, my instructor told me to look into the palm of my hand and kind of create the Vulcan neck pinch like this. Now the stick's going to slide right in there and you're going to support the stick between those two points. Now by kind of relaxing the hand and folding it into a fist, almost like you're flipping the bird because your middle finger is going to be extended out a little bit in just a loose relaxed position. Now a couple things go on between uh, the Vulcan neck pinch and when you're actually holding the stick uh, traditional. Here's those couple things kind of from the ground up. Um, you're going to create a, I call it the unifinger, right between your pinky and your ring finger. You're going to kind of curl them at a, at a 90 degree angle and pinch them up together so that your pinky is kind of supporting your ring finger. That's why I call it the, the unifinger. They're both serving the same purpose but supporting each other in, in that job. Here was the awkward part for me at least. The stick is going to rest right here on the fleshy part of your finger right before the fingernail. That's what's going to keep the gravitational pull from taking the stick down to the floor. Then, remember you've got it curled around your thumb like this. You're going to keep your middle finger fairly extended um, just so, mostly so that the stick doesn't slide into the crotch of your hand like that. You've got these fingers curled around, middle finger extended. Now this is the most crucial part of, of this technique and holding the stick uh, traditional. Right here is your fulcrum on your left hand. This is where the balance point of the stick comes from. Now I get this by taking this crease right at the end of your uh, pointer finger and this crease right here in your thumb and if you put those two together, you've kind of got a vertical crease here, horizontal crease here. If you put those two together, you'll kind of form an X. And X marks the spot. That's right where you want to be. That's going to create a little cavity of space right here for the stick to slide through. Wrap it around your, or lay it on top of your unifinger and uh, keep your middle finger extended just to kind of support the stick. That's the idea. Now if you check it out, my, my fingers are still touching that same way, this crease to this crease. Look what happens to my thumb. You can see a lot of surface area on the thumb sticking up. Now some of my younger students all threaten to take a marker and draw a couple eyes and a little smiley face right there. And the idea is not to smudge Mr. Smiley because there, there'll be a tendency to kind of uh, fist up your hand like that. You want to keep it uh, fairly tight and by making sure that you've got the fleshy part of your thumb pointed up like that, it ensures that you've got a nice tight grip right here on your fulcrum, which is truly all you really need to play using traditional grip. Now you've got those two fingers supporting the stick when you're not actually playing and, uh, and your middle finger, which they're going to kind of manipulate the stick um, uh, sometimes when you're playing, but if you're just playing a uh, steady stream of notes on your right hand, remember you've got that up and down wrist motion like this. In your left hand, when you do the same thing, there's your doorknob twisting motion. And I'm going to speed it up just a hair. Watch what happens in my left hand. You can see the unifinger kind of drops out a little bit. Again. Then it's going to come right back into uh, position again. I wonder if I could zoom in on that. Oops, maybe later. Um, when, when you're warming up with these, um, practice just single strokes, you know, steady stream of notes. Do the same.
same on your left. Speed it up, see if you can match that on your left. Etc. Etc. Paradiddles, um, accents, uh, flams, all the stuff that you could play using traditional grip. You could also use, um, oh sorry, match grip. You can also use traditional grip for. And really, traditional grip is called that because traditionally a marching style snare drum was hung from a sash that went from the shoulder down to the side like this, and the drum would kind of fit at at this angle to the side like this. Now instead of cocking the elbow way up like this to play at that angle, it was a lot easier to let the elbow sag and you can play at that angle. That's why a lot of uh, jazz musicians will kind of pitch their snare drum forward a little bit. Uh, total preference thing, but usually traditional grip is used more for uh, jazz in which you'll use a little bit more of a molar, a loose, limber, um, Kind of, kind of free flowing, basically loose technique. Um, versus uh, traditional marching technique, and usually it's been uh, adapted to have a, uh, a flat surface, tabletop surface. So, and it's usually a lot more uh, regimented. You know, a lot more staccato, a lot more control issued over the sticks. So anyways, whatever your own style is, um, just because it's, it's hard to pick up the sticks and assume this position naturally, just kind of check out my hand from, from different angles. This is kind of how I approach traditional grip. Hope you found this helpful. Come back and see me again. Practice.